YouTube fam, it's the Southern Girl Shantae LaVette and on today's video I'm going to be sharing with you seven things that you should never ever 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 buy for your home mm-hmm so let's go ahead and jump into today's video number one that you should never buy for your home is MDF anything if you can help it but basically it is pressed pieces of wood sawdust mashed together to create a piece of furniture of course over my lifetime have purchased some MDF furniture I got a piece that was from Ikea and it was an island and I actually did a video about redoing the top of this island because once it was scratched and water got underneath it, it all began to bubble. The thing looked like it had chicken pox. Now, I don't know if you're starting out and that's all that you can afford. I would say just wait, hold your horses until you can find a solid piece of wood furniture. If you can avoid this, don't do it. Number two on the list of things that I say you should never, ever buy for your home are cheap pillows. Now hold on, because I actually have some cheap pillows. Let me put a stipulation on this. Cheap pillows that you keep forever. I'm not opposed to getting a few cheap pillows. I got a few seasonal cheap pillows out on my patio just to punch it up. I didn't want to spend a ton of money, and I'm okay with that. But you can't keep these cheap pillows forever because they are not made for that. Avoid going down the cheap forever pillow route. Woo, the next one on the list, I have talked about this in so many of my videos. If this is your first time, I'm going to link a couple of them in here where I talk about this thing to never ever buy. And that is a cheap rug in the wrong size. Not only did you buy a cheap rug, but you bought a cheap rug in the wrong size. I actually have a video coming out that's going to tell you the things that you should invest in your home. But we're going to talk about all this stuff that you shouldn't because the cheap rugs, I already went over it. Get a cheap rug, it's going to curl up at the edge, somebody's going to trip. Not a good look, so don't do it. Woo, this next one on the list, oh my God, oh my God. Okay, I got to give y'all a little background. I, when I was in design school, I worked at a fabric store, I worked at a cabinet shop. Y'all used to spray cabinets. I used to actually go in the, in the spray booth and spray cabinets, a part of my skill set. And I worked for a fabrication room or a work room. We did everything. Yeah, I know how to sew. Yeah, your southern girl knows how to sew. But I did custom drapes, comforters, duvets, bed skirts, valances or valences. You name it, we did it, and we made a ton of pillows. Matter of fact, I got another video that I'm going to link. If you want to sew your own pillow covers. It's an oldie, but it's a goodie. And I think it's like a four-parter. So I'm going to link that right here. Cheap store-bought curtains and valances are out. Now hold up for y'all go in. I know sometimes your budget is here, but there are drapery that are made that looks better than just the store-bought curtains. And let me explain the difference between a curtain and drape. Curtains typically are just fabric. They're typically not lined, and they don't really hang good. They give you some coverage, but that's about it. Drapes, on the other hand, especially custom drapes, they have a particular hem length. They have weights in them so that they'll hang properly. They're lined. And you can have them made to whatever length you specify when you go the custom route. Sometimes you can find some good ones like at Tuesday morning, places like that. But avoid the cheap curtain and the cheap valance or valence. I guess I think it depends on what part of the country you are in. Because it's only going to make your windows look like, don't do it. Don't do it. Y'all, I stopped counting, but the next one on the list is five. This one is an important one. Things to never buy for your home. A matching set of furniture for any room in your house. Bedrooms, living rooms, dining room sets. I don't care where it is. Don't buy a full matching set for your house. Whew. 
you have some people they go in and they get the full seven piece set for the bedroom plus the mirror for the dresser if you are trying to elevate your home in the way that your home looks or to convey who you are i don't know you might like all the matchy stuff my suggestion is sometimes it might be a package deal mm. if it is a package deal do like i do with my family we swap furniture pieces out maybe you can keep the bed and the dresser and then swap out the nightstands with somebody so that or give them to somebody or sell them to somebody so that you can have a couple of extra you know different pieces so that everything is not the matchy 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 look all right moving right along Woo. this next one on the list that you should never ever buy for your home cheap sheets yeah i said it oh my god so let me tell you what's gonna happen when you buy cheap sheets you're gonna wash them one time and when you put them back on your bed you're going to get what i call the done done effect and you might be saying southern girl what's the done done effect is when you get all those little beady balls that's rolled up on the sheets they're like lint balls because the sheets are so cheap so let me tell you the reason why a sheet does that if you purchase quality linens, linens can last a long time when they are high quality. They really can. You take care of them, wash them correctly. They can last a long time. And the difference is in high thread count sheets, they use what's called long staples of thread, long staples of cotton when you're doing cotton sheets. I can't say about polyester and all that other stuff. I just usually get cotton sheets because they're breathable and washable. The other cheaper sheets will use the count of the leftovers, the short staple. And when you have the longer staples of cotton and you're moving around causing friction because they're long, they don't roll up. But when you have all those itsy bitsy short ones and you're moving around, you catch those edges. And you get, again, what I call the dun dun effect. Now you may want to get some cheap sheets if you want to put them in on your guest bed because you don't want people to stay a long time at your house because your sheets are uncomfortable. Don't do it. Don't be mean like that to your guests. And go get the real good sheets for your room and then get the little cheap ones for the guest bedroom. But cheap sheets are a no-no. And the more money and the higher thread count that you can put into your sheets, I suggest you do it on the front end. And y'all, the final thing on the list today that you should never, ever, 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 ever buy for your home are knockoff cheap designer items. Yeah, we got to stop doing that. And this is the reason why I say this about the knockoff cheap items. One, it takes away from the person who you're seeming to support. They've worked hard to build a name for themselves. And then you go out and buy something else that's a knockoff. If you are really into whatever this person is offering, then I say save your coins and get the item. One, the quality is going to be so much better. It's going to last a long time, whether it is a handbag to a blanket the quality is going to be so much better this thing just tripped me out though and it's knockoff designer coffee table books and if you don't know what i'm talking about what i said in my last video i'm gonna link that video right here so you can go check it out but i saw an advertisement for a book no it was a faux book that was a box to look like a book. We already don't read enough. And then you're going to go get a fake book? I don't, I don't get it. So now I come up to your house. And you got a book on the table. I'm like, ooh, I'm going to look through a Chanel book. I'm going to look through a Tom Ford book. And I pick it up. And it's a fake book box. Y'all, don't do it. Stop doing it. Stop doing it. Stop doing it. Stop supporting these companies that are doing all this knockoff stuff. You ain't got to listen to me. I mean, you're going to spend your money how you want to spend your money. So, these are my top seven things that I say you should never, ever, 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 ever spend for your home. Wait. Invest your money in a different way. And I'm going to be talking about that in an upcoming video. Things that you should definitely invest in for your home. If you're new to my channel, I am so happy that you stopped by for a visit. If you are not part of my family, you can go ahead and hit that subscribe button. 
and become part of my family today. We can also connect on Instagram and Facebook. So if y'all are not part of my family over on Instagram and Facebook, honey, I need y'all to come on over there and support the Southern Girl. I know y'all can do it. And if you like this video, you can give a thumbs up and also share it too. And you can always click the notification bell and that'll let you know every time I upload a new video. And to my existing fam, y'all know I got nothing but hugs and love for you. Of course, leave your questions or comments down below. And until the next video.